You're watching The Sports Spin, presented by Uinta Basin Healthcare. Health and healing, every person, every time. Welcome back to The Sports Spin, your weekly dose of sports action, presented by Uinta Basin Healthcare. Mark Mason, John Nerdin, we watch the games, we call the games, and now we spin the games. Well, don't say welcome back because we were never gone, because here today on The Sports Spin, we recap what might have been... The call of the year by John. And talk with you and his track coach. But first, let's rewind the week. So since this is the week rewind, should we just back that up a little bit and just, just say that again? I, I thought I heard you say might have been. Might have been. Well, the call of the know. year. What are you talking know. about? We'll get to that in a minute. I guess we'll have to just rewind we'll the get that in a minute. see. Because I'm sure I had some pretty good calls in there, too. <laughs> well, we'll see. What are the so, odds? So, uh... Let's talk about a little softball. Softball? Should we go there? Sure. You went oh, to. You went to. You went wow. to pace and, you know, struggling to get a little footage. I think I got a few people on it, though. Next show, we should have some, some softball footage. Yeah, what's up with all this, the softball moms? They couldn't get us a... Nah, one of them live streams it to her husband, so we could probably get it. Right. So, How about right. live streaming it to, to VTV? There you go. 11-2. Yeah. Okay, 11-2 gets Payson. Yeah, you know, so... You know, and I don't know much about Payson's program, but I know a lot about you and his program. And they're high right now, and they've been high for three or four years. And the 11, 11 2, that doesn't surprise me. Maybe it surprised me it wasn't 18 to 2. Last year, I think they didn't get scored on in region, you know, so they're, <laughs> yeah. they're a pretty good team. Yeah. And a lot of the kids came back, so they know how to win games. Talk to me when we get to the playoffs. Right, here we go. Let's go, uh, let's stay you in it. You in it? Yeah. The, the baseball. Baseball. It's Maple Mountain. Okay. They beat them by one. They're down three. It's like six to, uh, no, down. Maybe they're down three, six to, to six three, to three, and they come back and, and win the game seven to six. Seven six, bats come alive, defense picks it up a notch, and so baseball was a big win. And we had some baseball here last uh, was it two weeks ago? We did. You know, oh man, we love the baseball program, doing well. Good job, boys. Uh, so Duchesne softball. Should we, we go down there? Yeah, we can't miss the the sixteen to one route against Roland Hall. Now here's the thing about Roland Hall. That's a private school. They got all the money. They can recruit a little. Yeah, they recruit a little, and they come out to. Apparently, they don't recruit softball. Kids. Uh, uh, apparently not. You would think, <laughs> but it didn't happen, and it was a beatdown. The Eagles, but Duchesne, the Eagles, they 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 haven't lost in region. Yeah. They're they're a very dominant team in in softball. So. Yeah. Well, it's kind of. You know, you say Eagles, everyone here is dominant. That's what you hear. Yeah. I mean, and so you don't have to say it twice. It's All like right, the sky's blue. What was I thinking? You know, of course. It's the uh, Eagles. Uh, it's the Eagles. They won 16 1. That's about it. It's kind of a slow week because of spring break. Uh, and, and, and a little hard to, to get yeah. footage this time of year, right. you know, so. Uh, okay, yeah, we're moving on. on then. Okay. Uh, now, what do we do? It's time for the LNL Monster Replays. So back by popular demand, the winner this week was Unicycle. Unicycle. And look at this play. Aori Rivera. Well, he's just, you, first he just of all, kicks it off his teammate's face, and then he goes ahead and bices it in. <laughs> and, you know, he kind of half falls as he's kicking. I think he wanted to get just a little bit of English on that so, sucker. So he did, you, you know, know, and normally you would call that a bicycle, but it was like a half a bicycle. Yeah, he so was facing it's forward. It's the unicycle. The bicycle is the one where you kick it over the backwards. Yeah. So. But it's still a heck of a play. I and like that's it. got the Coach Nerdin hand stamp all over. Run the ball to the baseline, kick it back to the 18. Super score. fun. Super fun way you to know. play the game of soccer. Right. Okay. Hey, uh, moving on to what I would say is my favorite monster play. We can't even call this nepotism because it's J John. What, what, what are the odds? Well, let's just take a listen to the audio here. Here it is. I'll take day. We. Where are you going to go? You got to go international somewhere in there. I'll go Sergio. Okay. Garcia. So there you go, Mark. You didn't even know. The thing is about this is you couldn't even come up with another name. And so you're like, ah, Sergio. Yeah, whatever. Like you didn't even mean. And then let me tell you what the odds were specifically. 60 to 1. If you had placed a $60 bet, it would have paid you $43,000. Dang. Yeah, right. Didn't happen. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? That's what the odds are. Luckiest son of a gun I've ever met. I'll give him, I'll give him the win this Called week. Called it. 
Okay, next, let's go over the top. We're going to go back to football. We didn't get a chance to run this. It's Duchesne, and they do what they do. They uh, yeah, All you got to do is say Eagles. Yeah, and that one just went over the top of the defense. Well, And here's the thing about the uh, – we watched a lot of Eagles games. We did. Run, 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 option pass over the top. Yeah, and, 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 and every for time – For a touchdown. It was for a touchdown. Super fun yeah. to, to watch them play. They just all the old school tricks, and and it's just a fun atmosphere. That 1A football is is just what Friday night under the lights is made out of. Hey, next time we compete in anything, I'm channeling my inner Cowan, and I'm gonna go all mean on you. <laughs> hey, so you know. <laughs> so so tell everybody to vote because I only want them to vote for one. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. What well, are the odds see, of me let's winning? Let's see if your vote, wife will what, vote for you what three times. What are the times. odds of me winning? I just want to know if Christy's gonna vote for you three times. Make sure to follow us on Twitter uh, at the Sports Spin or like us on VTV on Facebook to vote for your favorite LNL Monster Replay. It's not about the miles you take when you're driving, but the milestones you see when you get to where you're going. When you graduate high school, buy your first car, get married, start a family, find your first home, and grow old together. Let each mile bring you closer to the moments that matter. l l Motor. People you know. People who care. We're back on the Sports Spin, presented by Yona Basin Healthcare. Now it's time for the Spin Cycle. So, Mark, the great, late, not late, the great Tyler Hill. Are we going to call you the late? I mean, uh, it's like your own funeral. We haven't even, you haven't even died yet. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> So, Coach, uh, you've been with the track at UNA High School, the track team, for years and helped out with cross country. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like the program's going good. It, it's getting better every year. We get more talent that shows up, and um, a lot of kids are starting to perform very well. They performed well right off the bat this year. Well, uh, the season is going great, except for the prom track meet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was tough. We had a lot of kids. We lost them to prom. So yeah. we ended up putting on a track meet without most of our varsity kids there. So. Well, you know, did some of the younger kids get to go out there and, and, and compete on a level they're not, not used to? Is it? Yeah, we actually had quite a few good performances last weekend. Um, you know, a few of the kids uh, just came, had personal best. A lot of those younger kids get excited when they get a turn. Sure. So it was really I, nice I, for them. I can't see a downside to letting a younger kid go out there and compete on the varsity level. Right, right. Yeah. At least the very worst thing is they can happen to see how somebody else does it well. You yeah. Know? And, then, and then personal records. Right. Well, and if we don't have let those younger kids do something, then sometimes they never come back. And that's what, that's sure. what we had. You know how that feels in mm -hmm. coaching. So. You know, uh, as I've watched over the last few years, we practice uh, soccer games at the same time you're, you're running track practice. The, the track squad has just gotten bigger incrementally every year. It's, it's huge this year. You've got a lot more kids than normal or no, it's, a lot more kids actually coming to, to practice than normal? That, yeah, more kids coming to practice is probably more what we want to say there. <laughs> uh, on an average, we start out with about 110. It uh, whittles itself down to about 65 by the time we're finished. So they just drop out. They, this they is do. running, not anything they, yep. on. Okay. Yep. Yep. They, they realize that maybe this isn't their sport. Um, but, you know, we enjoy having all the new kids every year. It's something to give us a variety and, and find out who's got some talent. Well, so who's, well, leading, who's leading out right now? So right now um, we have a young sophomore, Kyla Johnson. She broke uh, the school record in the long jump, um, her very first invitational As meet. As a sophomore? As wow. a sophomore. Wow. Uh, she jumped 16, nine, and nine inches and broke it by three quarters of an inch. And then just yesterday, uh, a region meet, the, the pit was a little bit weird. And so maybe it wasn't quite the same, but she was jumping 16, 10 plus yesterday. Wow. So, so that's been really good. Congratulations right? So she's already qualified for state. And then Kyle Henderson, a junior, uh, qualified for state the first meet in his long jump as well. So. Well, I, I followed Kyle for since he was in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. 
I've always known he's a top-notch athlete. You know, and it doesn't matter what he wants to do. He's he's always the best. I would have preferred he played soccer, but you know, track's okay too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we got to steal him somewhere. <laughs> so you know, but um, we have a Kyla's doing well in almost everything she's done. She's qualified for BYU. The BYU meet's kind of what we gauge a lot of our season off of because yeah. it's one of the most prestigious meets we have. It's the biggest one in Utah, sure. or even over state. And so she's qualified in most of her events. Um, we've had a, quite a few qualifiers already. We're at 21 kids on the team so far. So you base that on how many kids qualify for BYU, kind of tells you what yeah, status you stand in. It gives us a little bit, but we're in a tough region, and this is gonna be tough for us to do much as far as a team with region points. But we'll, we'll get individual kids there. We've already got uh, one of the boys' relays actually qualified for state last weekend. So that was the one that a few of the varsity kids showed up for and then left for prom. Okay. And so, so they came around their event and then off they went. They ran a state qualifying time last weekend. So that was really nice. Cool. So, so they've always told me anyone that runs for fun is, is a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that would be accurate because your son plays goalkeeper, and I and I think that uh, to play keeper you have to be a little bit crazy. So does the crazy in the family come from your side of the family or your wife's side of the family? Um, my wife would always say it's mine. Okay, all right, <laughs> and, and it probably it's more of the hillside I bet I would imagine because I got a lot of crazy family members. So okay, well you know. Uh, Looks like it's going to be a great season. Already is a great season, it sounds like, from what you're telling us. We appreciate you coming down here to the show. Uh, track, it's always fun, right, right, John? <laughs> we always tell our kids, we'll put you on the track team if you don't perform a little better. <laughs> it's a threat. Well, and we always want to steal your kids from the yeah. soccer team. Yeah, so we know we got they're some over there taking time. notes. We'll take him, we'll yes, take that's him, right. we'll take you. <laughs> that's All right, true. thanks for joining us. We'll be right back after these messages. I'm Amanda Hartman, I'm the new Director of Nursing here at the Villa. Here at the Villa, it's far more than a nurse-patient relationship. You truly are like a family. We have a community here, we have neighborhoods within our community, and we create lasting relationships that mirror that of our own families. We're kind of just one big family because we're their sole providers, and we spend a lot of time with each and every resident. Even our rehab patients are here for months at a time, so we really create a family-like environment with them also. Welcome back, it's time for the Call of the Week. So while I'm anxious to get on to this Call of the Week and, and, and keep the streak going, I am just like in heaven right now. The streak, you haven't won yet in the uh, baseball soccer season, you know. But let's just talk about what we called last week. We called Jazz. Let's see, on the Jazz, so, so right now. You could possibly win that There's one. a chance, they have to win. Yeah. And, and, and the Clippers have to lose, pretty much. Probably going no, to be probably going to be a push, is what I'm saying. Oh, at best, because yeah. because they're going to end up fifth, and you pick sixth, and, and you I pick, pick fourth. fourth so. so a push there. So let's just assume that's a push, but I might win it. You might win, but it doesn't really matter. No, in the end, it doesn't matter. Because you could have won humble the, pie. I the, just keep going. I mean. The, I'm eating it. I called the Masters. Dude. I'm eating it. Like, what was the other call? call? Who even cares? What was the other call? It was Union Baseball, and I don't uh, even remember. <laughs> Forget it. All, okay. All I know is stand I up. Whoop. Stand up. What, do you, what, what is what does the winner get? What, uh, what does what the do winner get? Uh, what did I get? Oh! Oh! The, oh did the somebody jacket. just win the the Masters? Oh! oh that's I right. Like that's it. right. Put I that green like jacket it. on. Oh, that looks good on you. Boy, I've yeah, always okay. won one of those. The one time, the one time John won, the Ooh. only time he's ever won in the calls of the week, it was on the Masters, and he calls. Who did you Where call? Where did you get this? Sergio Garcia. Look at I, that green I, I jacket. Mean, come Does on, he look good I, in I that like jacket? it. I always wanted one of these as a kid. All right, so just so you know, that's the only time you get a green jacket for me ever, okay. ever in your life. Let's move on. This well, is embarrassing. I, I just love it. Thank you, Mark. That's, that's, that, is just, that is just, I'm going to wear this every week, if you don't mind. Good thing we're not on the green screen today. Yep. Okay, yep. <laughs> let's go on to the next calls of the week, because this right. is your one and Where only are we? Here we go. soccer season. Let's, let's see. Union at Juab. Juab at Union, excuse me. What are we playing? 
baseball. Softball. Baseball. Baseball? Baseball. Union at you at? Well, I would have called Union straight up, but they're on the road, huh? That's a loss. I got Union. Okay. Sorry, up. Cougars. All right. Cougars lose. Moving on. Softball. You went at Payson. You went at Payson? Oh, geez. Hello. They're going to destroy him. You think? Yeah. You went at Payson? What's your score then? Because uh, I got you into as well. Let's go 10 to 2. 10 to 2? Yeah, you can have anything besides that. Okay, I have everything besides that then. Yeah. Mark, if it's no, not you have 10 to go to two, over or right? under. Over or under. Call it now. Come on. Are they going to win by more than 8 or lose or win by less than 8? You have to go over more or under. More than 8. More I'll than go eight? plus okay. 8. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cougar softball. What are, what are we playing? They got two they got games. Two games. Yeah, just call it. What do you got? One, two, two, two and zero. Oh. Two and zero. Oh? Two and zero. Oh. I'm going all homer this week. So I'll go one and one. All right. So you better write that down. I went there, Mark. Because I want a green jacket when I win next week. No, make it a purple. You, you make can't. it a Sager you, jacket. You have to actually win something as big as the Masters. Like how many guys played in that? A hundred. A one in a hundred. I mean, uh, Sergio. Yeah, Sergio. Had no idea. Couldn't come up with another name. <laughs> but he deserves the green jacket. We'll be right back after this. I'm Amanda Hartman. I'm the new director of nursing here at the Villa. Here at the Villa, it's far more than a nurse-patient relationship. You truly are like a family. We have a community here. We have neighborhoods within our community. And we create lasting relationships that mirror that of our own families. We're kind of just one big family because we're their sole providers and we spend a lot of time with each and every resident. Even our rehab patients are here for months at a time so we really create a family-like environment with them also. All right, welcome back to the Sports Spin. It's time for the Fast Dash. So we have the Todd Carter on the show. I mean, <laughs> do people know your name? And yeah. You show up and they're like, "There's what's your number?" <laughs> I don't have a number. Oh, you don't have a number? <laughs> Do they give you individual they, numbers? They just say, "Hey, it's Carter." It's Carter. All right, yeah. keep up with him. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that how it goes? Do you run rabbit? Is, for is the that field? a little? Is that a little odd to have a first name as a last name? Not really. It's just what you've had all your life, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it causes right. two, two stress for people trying to get to get to know him, right? Is it Carter or is it Todd? I can't remember. <laughs> okay. This is how it's gonna work, Carter. Or should we call him Todd? <laughs> TC. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Uh, we're going to put a minute on the clock. We're going to ask you some questions. Let's see how good you do. I, right. I think track guys do it better than soccer guys. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, clock's up. We're going to start right off the bat. Sprint or long distance? Sprint. Easy. A Favorite board. event? 110 hurdles. Star Wars or chick flicks? Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit of a geek here. That's good. <laughs> State or BYU? BYU. Okay, track or cross country? Track. Uh, Pizza or tacos? Pizza. Hill or Henderson? Hill. Okay. You always said that because he's here in the audience. Is that right? Oh, man. <laughs> Date night or guys night? Date night. Well said. I, I like it. That's why he runs track. So no, no. I, did, what did he say? Date night? Yeah. Because I was going to say prom or track meet. Well, I did both. <laughs> oh, you got them both in. Wow. So we know what your favorite event is. What's your best event? Uh, well, right now it's probably the 300 hurdles. That's your best. Nice. How best tall time. are those hurdles? What's your best time? Best time, 42.08. Wow. I don't know what that means. That means, that means he didn't hit fast. a lot of the hurdles as that he went around. That means he got over them. Okay, turning left or turning right? Turning left. Okay, you're a NASCAR guy. What's your favorite <laughs> class in school? Uh, lifetime activities. There you go. I like it. Favorite movie of all time? That would be great. What's that? <laughs> UHF. You oh, were Look at him one. going old school on us. Very old school. Wow. I like it. Well yeah. done, Todd. Yeah, all right. Good job, Carter. Thanks for coming. Thanks in. for joining <laughs> us here on the Sports Spin presented by UNA Basin Healthcare. Health and healing every person every time. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and we'll see you next week. Out the boat. <laughs>